So it is a day after the Packers knocked off the Indianapolis Colts at Lambeau Field. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. But I want to go into some information that has come out regarding Jordan Love from different Packers reporters. First off, we have here from Rob Domofsky. He was on the Jen, Gabe, and Chewy show earlier today, and here's what he said. Quote, I think next week, if Malik Willis does have to play again, and I'm not convinced that he's going to, from what I was told, Jordan Love was very close to playing, and that that was not a charade. So there was a debate all last week. Some believed that Jordan Love didn't actually have a chance to play on Sunday. It was just Matt LaFleur trying to make it seem that way so that the Colts would have to prepare for two different quarterbacks. Maybe that's true. Maybe that isn't. But according to to Domofsky, whoever he spoke to, there was actually a real chance of Jordan Love playing on Sunday. He was questionable on Saturday, or sorry, on Friday. Then on Saturday, he was doubtful. And then Malik Willis, of course, came in and started. And then from Tom Silverstein of PackersNews.com, he put this out in an article in the past day or so. A source said Love had a good week of rehab and hasn't been ruled out of the game in Tennessee next week. The fact LaFleur didn't declare him out Saturday should have meant there was a small possibility he could have played Sunday. In parentheses, expect a call from the league about whether that was really true, Matt. And then that's the end of the quote. So he had a good week of rehab. He's improving. And he hasn't been ruled out for for Tennessee next week. And I would assume that if in this past week, LaFleur was making it sound like there was a chance Jordan Love could go, I would assume, considering we are now a full week you know, from, from that starting last week, that the same thing is probably going to happen. My thing is now with seeing how effective the Packers were in the game against the Colts with the running game, with the defense forcing tons of turnovers, I think it could be smart and the Packers would be wise to go with Malik Willis once again. He's going to be facing his former team in the Tennessee Titans, who are currently 0-2. And I think just considering how well it went with Willis, why not throw him out there one more time and let Love come back the following game against the Minnesota Vikings? And so there's some belief that maybe Love was close to playing on Sunday. But here's what Rappaport, Ian Rappaport said over the weekend. Quote, my understanding is that he is targeting week five, which is October 6th, against his hometown team growing up, the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, the injury is not quite as bad as they originally thought. So he says week five. So right now, if I had to give my prediction, I have zero clue what's going on. Is Jordan Love actually almost ready to play or is it just gamesmanship? I have no clue. Is he more likely to play week five? I have no clue. So there's a, a, a span of, of time where he, he will probably be back by. It sounds like the latest will be week five, maybe week six, but he could be back as soon as next Sunday. So this is something that we're just going to have to wait and see see what develops. Now, if Love does practice sometime this week, I think that would actually give us some kind of indication that he could play on Sunday. And so that's something to watch this week. Will Jordan Love practice at all on you know Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday when these different injury reports do come out? But if you want more Packers news, feel free to follow me on Twitter at LukeBeller3. You can also subscribe to the channel down below, and I'll see you guys next time.